Good morning, everyone. I'm Mark. I am Marco Gori from the University of uh, Pasqua Superiore Sant'Anna in Pisa, and I'm going to present you the, the task four and seven from the from the police project and the state of the art on bike sharing and car sharing from Movus. So task four, task four is about uh, building a database for training programs about smart cities. We consider the postgraduate programs, uh, uh, masters and professional courses for from the, from the universities across the world. We gathered information about, I mean, basic information like the, of course, the name of, name of the course, the, in, the related university, then the head of the program, contact information, and a brief description of, the, of what, what is taught there. Then, uh, if, uh, if available on the website, we, we listed also the professor involved. We found 52 training programs, mostly in Europe, as it was the focus of, of our research, but we found some interesting ones uh, also in North and South America, in Asia, in Middle East, and Oce Oceania. In the following slides, uh, we will take a look at the, a few of the most interesting ones. The first one is Beyond Smart Cities from, the, from MIT in the US. In the US. It's a, just a, a three-day course, where, uh, which is focused on data analytics and real-time simulation and urban design strategies, where the students can experience lectures by, by MIT experts and participate in more practical, practical exercises. It just is a short course, but it's uh, enough to permit, to permit the students to explore uh, disruptive innovation in uh, everything related to, to smart cities. The next one is the Smart Cities and Urban Analytics at the UCL London. It's for, uh, this course aims to provide the students with the, uh, with the tools to, to face the challenge, challenges from, uh, of today's smart cities, it, which is done through six core modules, uh, as you can see listed here. It's a geographic inform, inf information systems, quantitative methods, uh, con uh, policy and government of smart cities and urban system theory, and the final simulation. simulation. The next one is a bit more complex. It's a joint program from four universities across the Europe, from uh, France, Sweden, Belgium, and, uh, and Spain, and which, is fun, uh, which is under the framework of InnoEnergy. It's a, uh, it's a more speci specific course about the energy supplies, uh, clean energy supplies for smart cities, which is characterized by uh, a more uh, job, uh, job a more economic oriented uh, uh, perspective as it aims to provide business skills and, and management techniques uh, to the students and it's, uh, and it's where uh, ma major companies in, uh, and uh, research institutes and startups play a big role in the, in the, in the courts. Then we have uh, another, uh, and another uh, Another course from Great Britain, University of, of Warwick, which is which again is focused on uh, anal on uh, city analytics. It's an interdisciplinary course uh, which combines theoretical approaches and uh, practice uh, practice skills, and it's it's focused on the opportunities that sensor and the new technology in uh, IT provides to can provide to city management. The then this, the, last, the next one is, the, is, mas, is, is a master in smart cities and smart grid technologies in Barcelona. It's a one-year course, which, as uh, you can clearly see in the title, it's uh, about uh, the smart, smart grids and energy distribution in, smart, in, uh, in the cities. Again, uh, companies in the city sector and energy environment play a big role uh, in, the, in, the, in the course. And it's, uh, it's a course focused on giving, uh, providing the technical skills to manage uh, smart grids. Lastly, is a, uh, it's a very interesting one from the University of Not Nottingham section of Ningbo, China, which combines uh, ge uh, this, the instrument provided by geospatial engineering and uh, building information modeling to the to smart cities. It's, it's a, uh, it's a Course to focus on uh, the it provides it provide instruments to uh, and skills to use uh, prof professional softwares and uh, uh, it 
they can, students can work with uh, prof uh, professional software vendors or, and big, again, big, com big, uh, big companies in China. And that's it. From the, the second task is uh, the task seven is the, complete, uh, is the final part of, the, of our project, which builds on the outputs from task five and, se and, and six which, uh, to remind you, are about the task five was uh, the selection of, indi of indicators for smart to measure in smart cities. And task, task, task six allowed us to identify the city, 52, 51 small and medium cities across Europe, where, which are the interest of our research. Uh, we framed the indicators uh, in a, as, a small, uh, as a short question, so we which uh, div divided in, in seven parts from general information and the, the indications area listed by Gabriele. The, the, in, the, in the survey, there were also some subsections which could be skipped uh, whether the city was able or not to provide inf such informations, as you can see clearly in, the, in this map. The first one is general information. We asked them uh, about uh, the uh, city size and the tourist flows and the extension of the urban area to have some insight on the context of the city. The next one, we tackled the, uh, the issue of smart mobility, we, which is a very ample, uh, it's, it's a, a wide array of questions. We started from electric vehicles, both in public transportation and the uh, municipal fleet. Then we asked them about the traffic management, uh, whether especially whether they used, utilize the new technologies such as mobile traffic signs for uh, limited traffic zones on, uh, or parking. Then we uh, went, went more in depth about public transportation and whether it's the city measure its performance, whether they, how many kilometers of rail, rail, railroads they have. And, uh, and also with parking, for both public transportation and parking, we asked them whether they developed uh, mobile applications and or IT, IT services to, for example, book in advance parking slots or, or manage payments. Lastly, there is, uh, we asked them about the extension of cycling paths, paths uh, as cycling is a, is a great way to reduce traffic and uh, help to help the environment. The, the next the third section is smart living, uh, is, uh, about, is about uh, the, the quality of life of, of, the, of, the, of the citizens. We asked the, whether the cities uh, measured the, the citizen satisfactions about the housing situation, the quality of the health systems, or the cultural and social activity in the city. But finally, the, we asked them if, if they measured other aspects which, which we, we didn't consider. The fourth one, smart economy. And uh, as for the general information part, uh, it's just a small section to help, to help us to understand the context, general context of the city. We asked them about the, the, uh, the city G GDP and the employment and employment rates. Also, we asked them whether, how much of this city G GDP has, uh, was invested in research and development activities. Then we have smart government, governance. Smart governance can be defined as the, everything that which helps the, the city to, pro, to foster transparency, to foster citizen partic partic participation and equality, and, to sim and which simplifies the relations, relationship between citizens and the, and the public administration. So we have a section about transparency, which, where we ask them about the, whether for example, munici uh, municipal councilmen released a declaration of goods, whether they, the municipal, municipal budget audit is public. Then about the, bu the budget, we, went to, we wanted to look at how it's, it was spent on uh, smart programs on, uh, or uh, activities which to promote uh, the, smart, the smartness of a city, such as energy efficiency or, or or, health, or, health, or, or a better health promotion. Then we, asked, we, 
we went to look at citizen participation, especially whether it was possible or not to promote local refer referendums. And lastly, uh, the e-governance, which is about uh, the, the activity of uh, whether the, the, the municipalities developed any, any so mobile application or, in, or, or, or uh, web application to, uh, to interact with the public administration to, to have access to the city services. The sixth part is smart environment, of course, because the, uh, the concept of smart cities can, can't be detached from the, from the envi envi environmental part. We asked them about the air, po air pollution, which is a big problem nowadays, in the especially in, in uh, the, big, the, big, the bigger city, but it's growing on the, all the, also in the smaller ones. We asked them uh, what, what are they measuring and if they can send us uh, the figures and, uh, or someone to talk about, someone who knows them can go, go more, in, more, more in depth. Then we asked them, we have the section about uh, energy efficiency and its, and its promotion. For example, whether they, the, the municipality renewed the older buildings or they, if they promote the, the, the utilization of clean energies or to utilize uh, uh, more efficient energy sources. The greenest part is basically the extent of, uh, of green areas in the city, which is play a big role also in the, in the, uh, in the to the quality of life of the, of the citizens, but also to the quality of, of, air, uh, of the air in the city. And lastly, the waste management, uh, we were interested in, uh, in knowing whether they uh, have a, a system to, rec to, rec to recycle waste, uh, how they, they manage waste, the waste collection, whether, uh, and how much of it is recycled. Lastly, smart people, because uh, it's not, it's about uh, human capital and cultural activities. We asked them, uh, we asked the city, city, city municipal, uh, municipal administration if they knew the, per the percentage of inhabitants uh, of, uh, which, have, which have an higher education degree or are uh, involved in lifelong, lifelong learning programs. We asked them, for example, uh, uh, the involvement of private entities in funding research or fund on uh, or, or research grants, and then uh, we asked them about the how many museums ex uh, or cultural cultural places were to uh, which are managed by the city or also by the state. Lastly, we asked them about the satisfaction of people with the educational system, for of, of course the part where where the, where the municip municipality is involved. So. The, with, with this is the outline of our uh, survey. We sent it on the 4th of July, sending some reminders on, uh, on at, in the end of the month of July and August, and setting a deadline to answer on the 4th of September. So did we get any results? Yes. We can do better, of course, yes, because only four cities have answered so far which is uh, Tampere in Finland, Plzen in the Czech Republic, uh, Alba Iulia in Romania, and Mostar in Bosnia. It's I interesting to note that Tam Tampere also gave us some feedback on the, uh, on the survey itself, uh, because the, they told us that it was a bit too long for them and it, it took longer than the, ex the expect ex expected 15 minutes, and uh, it was a bit too wide uh, with the questions. So, we, we, that's uh, the results, but we, can, we can, can go further, of course. We, can, we could send one final round of reminders, uh, especially of the cities in Spain, which are closer to the, uh, to, to the project. For example, we asked one of the cities selected was Alcoy, which could be easily accessed. Or otherwise, we can carry on with, with the data we have for now, because uh, as Professor Yakonor always said, no information is good information. Otherwise, uh, another action could be a meeting uh, with the mayor of the cities, where, or another 
suggestion could be an organize an event, for example, a conference inviting the en engineers working for the municipal administration in the department we ask them about. Because, of course, uh, meeting face to face and explaining them the aim of the project and uh, what, is go what is going on and why it is important could be way more constructive than just sending an email. So we can we can wrap this up with say, saying that it's a very interesting in, the project is which is a very uh, some interesting results uh, and uh, but there is still work done. Last but not least, uh, this most task which is completely out uh, out the layout is whatever, but not we are, we focus on the content. So what are we going to to see now? We are going to see uh, something about car sharing, bike sharing, and urban logistics sol solutions. Bike sharing. There are many ways to share a bike nowadays. We, we have uh, bike rentals, we have tra traditional bike sharing and with docking station like just me, the, the MIBC project. But the, the most interesting one is uh, bike sharing with a free floating system. It's a very straightforward, straightforward idea. It's, it builds on, uh, on the concept that you can leave the bike wherever you want within the, within the area. And how can you do that? You can do that through the mobile application, which allows uh, you, once you are registered, to find the, the, the nearest bike, which has, because all the bike is equip, bikes are equipped with, uh, with a GPS tracker. You can book it in advance, and then you, same, uh, always through the application, you can unlock it, uh, utilize it, uh, and then of course you you can pay for you can pay for the service. It's a, a very flexible uh, service, but of course it's not perfect. There are still many problems. Uh, especially vandalism, stolen bikes, and uh, general, general user misconduct. So what are the, the solutions? Uh, uh, Zaxter is a US company which tried to tackle the vandalism problem with a secondary lock. It's a, a, a steel chain which is, can be used uh, to secure the, uh, the bike to the to a docking station or to the fixed ob object around the town. And it's, it, can, it, it improves the security of the, of the bikes. On the other, other, other hand, we have Mobike, a, Ch a Chinese provider, which tries to uh, influence the user behavior directly through a, uh, a point system which allows you some uh, points for uh, virtuous, virtuous behaviors such as reporting uh, mis uh, others' misconduct or or sim sim simply using the service how it's intended, while you have uh, some, uh, you are punished for misconducts or not locking the bike or uh, destroying it by losing points. If you lose uh, many points and go uh, below a certain threshold, you are forever banned, banned from the, using the application again. An example, uh, Mobike, uh, or uh, again, is uh, I, I look at it into mo the mobile experience in Florence as a, an, an example of uh, a great success. As you can see, it started quite recently in uh, August 2017, gradually uh, uh, increasing the number of, of vehicles up to 4,000 bikes, which is the maximum allowed for, the, for a single provider in a total of 8,000 in the city plan. And how did it go? It go. It went very well, with uh, 1,000 registered, one, uh, 100,000 users, 1.3 million uh, mi uh, kilometers traveled, which uh, adds up to more than uh, the one percent of the total travels in the city. It, it this is just a, ju it was measured just in eight months. This means that uh, 400 tons of C uh, of of carbon dioxide has been has, uh, has not been produced, and the success in the uh, mobile was so happy with the system, uh, how the, 
the, the experience was in Florence that they chose the, the city to, uh, as a pilot, a pilot experience to introduce the, the electrical bikes with the assisted, assist, assisted pedal set, set, uh, technology. Car sharing is quite, uh, to, to, to some extent, is, is quite similar. You can have the tradi traditional car, uh, you have the car rentals, which uh, is a sort of some, is closer to uh, car sharing, but is on a longer range. You have stationary car sharing, which is close to the uh, back sharing with docking stations. You can have, uh, a, a, for at the same, uh, free floating car sharing. What does it mean? Again, you have the uh, the car equipped with a mobile, with a GPS tracker, with a SIM card, with, which uh, can uh, communicate with the, the mobile application. And again, you can book the, the car, unlock it, pay for the service, and you can leave it uh, wherever you want in a, of course, in a, in a appropriate parking with a, within the area of the city. Free, uh, car sharing, especially free floating, is constantly growing, especially in Europe, and it's estimated to to reach uh, 3 million unique users uh, just in Germany by 2020. What can be, what, what, is, what uh, can be, what is the, there is in the future? Of course, electric, electric vehicles, because, which are already on the, um, on our streets, but are supposed to, uh, to grow even further, because it's due to one factor. The fact that, uh, Automotive players, especially the big producers, are realizing that car, sh uh, car sharing is a great way to promote and test, to extensively test their vehicles uh, and to make them known to, gen to, the, 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 to the general public. But the big game changer can be, will, will be, of course, the autonomous driver technology. It's not something that will be here in a couple of years, but in the next five, 10 years, uh, it would completely rev uh, revolutionize the uh, the market. As it, the problem with uh, with cars is is that they occupy a lot of space, especially when they are and they are not always used. While uh, an autonomous drive, drive, driving car improves dramatically the efficiency of the of the whole system. Urban logistics is uh, a crucial factor because that uh, while it is very important not just to uh, to improve the quality the the efficiency of the of the private users but also the management of the traffic you have to manage you can apply new technologies to traf to limit limit traffic zones so you can apply them to parking slots or to loading zones i went to, uh, and looked at two uh, two companies in Italy which provide su such solutions. One is, uh, of, uh, one has a name quite uh, quite telling, is smart parking, smart parking Systems. And of course, its main, its core, its core business is about, is providing a parking sensor equipped the, with the uh, narrow band Internet of Things technologies, which are directly placed under the, under the, the road surface and Communicate with the with the with the whole system about the free or occupied status of the of the slot, and can also be connected through Bluetooth with the with user user mobile phone. Of course, so if it's equipped with the mobile app of, of the provided by smart parking systems, which also provides municipalities with a, a dedicated software to records and, ma and manage all the, the whole system. Of course, it's uh, from permits, from fines, from all the whole payments. Another one is Cunsis, uh, which is another co Ital company in Italy, which provides uh, as, as, uh, a, whole infra uh, a whole framework to manage uh, limited, uh, limited traffic zones, installing uh, mobility gates uh, with uh, dedicated elect electronic passes, which again can be 
put in the, in a vehicle and it, will, it is automatically recognized by the, by the gate, it can enter or not the, in the selected uh, uh, time zones, the, the limited traffic zones. It can also be used for uh, disability permits. And uh, of course, uh, they have a very close system to the previous one, the, to the previous, previous company for managing, managing uh, parking slot management. Besides, they provide the whole uh, cloud service to analyze and, ma and, management, and manage your mobility. So, we have reached the end of the, my, of the presentation. I would like to thank my, uh, my colleagues, but especially Professor Loyakono for, for, uh, for the sub support. And uh, thank you everyone for your, for, uh, for your attention. Thank you.